On today's installment of beating every PlayStation 2 game ever, I will be playing Twisted Metal Black. It's an interesting twist on a demolition derby and the first thing you do is pick your character. I decided to choose Roadkill. I see myself in a cutscene and to sum it up, so I'm some mental patient and some guys like, hey, you used to not be a mental patient, wanna come shoot stuff in cars? Is that what's going on? Then I get thrown straight into the game with no explanation. Whoa, 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 what the heck is going on? I'm being killed seven enemies. I'm dying. Holy schmoly, how do I go forward? Jeez Louise. I just got here. I was getting blown up and I'm on fire and stuff. Is that my health, that green bar? It's very low already. I'm on fire. Okay. I... Oh, I'm dead. All right. Oh, I have two lives. I'll never die now. I'm on fire again. Stop. Stop bullying me. Go away. I'm dead. I am dead. Do, do, do I lose now? Uh, fantastic. There was a big learning curve for this game, and it took me nearly until the end of the game to figure everything out. And I wouldn't be surprised if there is still some stuff I didn't figure out. But thankfully, I played it so I can explain some things. First of all, it's a demolition derby with deadly weapons. So the primary goal is to kill everybody and be the last man standing. There are eight enemies to kill on each level, and you have three lives to do it. There are various weapon pickups scattered throughout the map to help. Sounds easy? Wrong. This game is very difficult, especially after getting thrown right into it with no tutorial or anything. It took me about 30 minutes to learn enough to be able to beat the first level. If I get another missile, I'm going for that guy. I just rolled through fire. I'm an idiot. Kill him. Yes. Oh, health. Yes, please. Oh. These guys are rude. I'm dead again. You. Yes, you're dead. Oh, that was a stupid shot. Oh, that guy's dead. No, no, no. Yes, no. Did I win? I died. I killed him, but I died. Oh, thank God. Then after being level one, you pick another area and get thrown straight into another level with no explanation. Why is there a clown showing his booty cheeks? The biggest issue when it comes to the difficulty is the enemies do so much damage. I'm also still not sure if they even damage each other or not. If they do, it's so insignificant that I didn't even notice. And your weapons do a lot less damage to them than they do to you. Please don't kill me and he has killed me. Oh, I'm okay. This game is hard. Maybe I'm just bad though. That's very possible. I'm dead. I don't know what's going on. No. Dang it. How is this even possible? And I'm freaking dead. Look at my life. It's nothing. I have nothing. After being very successful for a while, I eventually developed a strategy for this level. I pulled out my tent and stayed in the same area, collecting weapons until somebody decided they want to get shot up. It still took me a few tries after developing this genius strategy, but it definitely helped a lot. Yeah, I might have found a better strategy. Stay in one position and let them come to me. No. Oh man, I was... Oh, oh, oh. You know what I mean? But he is also dead. Ah, oh, that guy died. Okay, I'm dead. This guy is almost dead. That guy is dead. Yes. Uh, I beat level two. Yay. Only six more to go. It only took an hour. Hooray. The next level is actually not that difficult now that I've learned more and figured out my MLG Pro strategy. The best thing to do seems to be to discover the map and where all the pickups are. That way, you can hopefully easily build up your arsenal and then have enough to fully kill or nearly kill anybody you come across. Still, even after figuring all this out and learning what most of the weapons do, it doesn't mean it's easy. Uh, I'm dead. Alright. Yeah, I died. Uh Dang it, I died. Well, that was, that was it. Oh, I didn't realize I died three times. I thought I was... Oh, okay. That sucks. That guy just fell off the bridge. He just died? Okay, that's useful. Thank you. Man actually just killed himself. I'm gonna give him some bullets. Oh, he killed me. Okay, dead. Don't like that. Never look back. What was that? Please die. What was that? Some guys blew my car up. Oh, he's almost dead. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was close.
Now it's time for the first boss fight. Minion has a shield that's protecting him from any damage, so you have to destroy it. There are very obvious glowing green panels on every side of the truck that you must destroy to remove the shield. And every time you hit or destroy one of the panels, it tells you. Yet somehow, it took me about 10 minutes to realize that. I know that's not very long, but it is so painstakingly obvious what to do and I somehow completely missed it. Honestly, I'm embarrassed. I'm just, uh, I, I'm just dumb. How does one break the shields? I don't see anything to do, so I'm just gonna keep shooting it. Do you have to shoot the machine gun? Is it just damage? Okay, I'm still not, I'm not sure if I'm actually doing damage to his shields. Though he just has an impenetrable shield? So what is this? How do you break the shields? I can't do any damage to him if I can't break his stupid shields. Right panel hit. Oh, he has a glowing green spot on him. I have to hit him in specific places to break his shields. Once the shield is gone, it's just a matter of destroying Minion the same way that you kill everybody else. He just has more health and he hurts more. On fire. Crap. Okay, I missed the freaking health and got blown up. Stop lighting me on fire. I do not like it. Shield destroyed. Okay, 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 good. Jerk. No, stop that. What the? What? Okay. Why did that happen? Please do not kill me. He killed me. Okay, I'm dead. No. Holy crap, my health. Please do not shoot me. This health. Thank you. No, I'm going to die. Oh my god. I didn't want to do that. I didn't know he was right there. I need those healths again. Oh. Yes, as brute force him. Take that, minion. I then learned a little more about myself. Turns out that I was in some sort of gang, and we planned to plant a bomb in the CDC to spread disease throughout the world for a mass extinction. So there's that. And with that lovely thought, I just get thrown straight into the next level. This level has a unique feature of starting off in a small room with just two enemies before opening up to the rest of the ship that we're on. It's not really much, but it's, it's different, I guess. Again, I used the strategy that I developed and drove around to discover the map. It didn't take me long to find a good area to stick with. It had health and multiple weapons, so I was good to go. Also, this map is actually very big, so I was able to drive around more without being bothered too much by the opponents. Due to my patience, I was able to beat this level on just my second try. I don't know how long it takes for these doors to open, but hopefully I don't get too hurt while waiting. Well, I, okay, I'm dead. Take that officer. Yeah, I don't know how how much I hurt him, but hopefully that was pretty good. What? He not had cut at all. He's supposed to be like dead. Stop it. Nobody's dead yet. Well, I mean, I've died, but that doesn't count. No, please, please don't get killed. No. Why? That guy came up there and just murdered me. That's illegal. Die. Yes, I've killed somebody. That guy's dead. It's good. He's dead. Nice. That's not ideal. Please be dead. Okay, you're dead. Die. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yes. You win. Oh yeah. Sadly, that was the last of the easiness of this game. I am now at the movies with no additional story of course, and this level is so small. Just look. You can drive a circle around this map in 20 seconds. As you would expect, due to the size of the map, it is just pure chaos. There are constant explosions around you and on you. This level was very tough. You can't hide anywhere to collect weapons in peace, and there aren't enough health pickups to maintain full health. I really got a false sense of victory in my first attempt. I somehow managed to kill 5 enemies, but until the end, when I won, I could barely kill 3 on any given attempt. Oh, I'm dead. No! Oh. Mr. Grim destroyed, yay! It's 1, 7 more to go! Yippee! I can do it! Okay... Why? I thought I could kill that guy, but he obliterated me with a boomstick and lit me on fire, and now I'm dead. Please die. Yes, he's dead. No, I'm dead. Come on. Well, every time I think I'm, I'm good and I can do it, 
I just get blown up. I, my, my, my health is fine. And then in two seconds, I'm dead. On the bright side though, I learned more about some of the weapons. Stuff like the gas can and the satellite actually have the ability to kind of aim them. And by that, I mean you can press the attack button again and actually make them hit the ground, which makes it much easier to hit people. Still not my favorite weapons, but at least I know how to use them. Yes, that was a very fun 50 minutes. <laughs> it didn't take me very long to discover my main enemy for this next level. Um, did I just kill myself? Don't tell me that loses me a life. Okay, it does. I just lost a whole life because I drove off a friggin' cliff. I did it again! Oh my god. Yeah, here. You are on rooftops, and there is nothing stopping you from driving straight off the edge. Some people might think it's cool or fun to be jumping from roof to roof while being in a deadly destruction derby, but I do not. This was not a very fun gaming experience for me. I didn't find any good spots to camp for weapons, so I decided to stay on the move. Which means it was possible to fall to my doom at any given moment. And trust me, I did that plenty. Uh, okay. Well... I go over there. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? I thought that was. I thought there was just a roof there. I didn't know it was a jump to the roof. I thought it was just the roof. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, if I just stop driving up cliffs, I think I'll be fine. I'm going down here. Leave me alone. Oh. Uh, like, uh, why? I just said don't go off the cliff, and I just go off the cliff. Am I stupid? No, oh, I'm an idiot. Why? Why? Hello? What is the Okay. Why is there a giant hole on the roof with a giant fan in it? Somehow, and there I go. Once again, off the cliff to my own death. No, please don't tell me I did it again. Oh, come on. Why? But don't worry, I didn't make any reasonable progress for about 45 minutes. I've killed a person, I haven't even died yet. What just happened? What just, what, just, okay, that, that, that's not fair. What just happened? I went off the ramp and it just like tilted me to the side so I lost all my speed and fell. No, I want to kill Mr. Grimm. Get out of my face. And you know what? Oh my god, don't you do- Okay, I'm scared now. Stop it. You scared me. Okay, very funny joke. Why? Fun. Thankfully, I actually did win on my next try. If it took me any longer than the hour I already spent, I would have actually driven off a skyscraper in real life. It's now time for the final boss fight. I'm just going to quickly explain how to kill this guy so I can get straight to my complaining about this fight. Okay, so tanker trucks jump down from the other roof. You must disable those tankers by causing damage to them. Once disabled, you have to shoot it again when the helicopter is in its vicinity. That will damage the helicopter's shield. After doing that a few times, the shield is gone and you can use your missiles to damage the helicopter until you destroy it. That sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? The issue is, well, basically everything. Firstly, there aren't that many health pickups considering the extreme damage that is being caused upon you. The helicopter shoots a volley of rockets at you that just obliterate. Why don't you just use cover, you ask? Two issues with that. One, the attacks come so often that it's very hard to get to cover in time. And two, while the cover does help when the heli is hovering in the middle, it doesn't help when it flies around and has an angle on the massive gaping holes on either side of you. Also, the tankers do damage to you just to add more fun. So there's issues with the D Defense. Surely there are no problems with the offense. Ha! I'm hilarious. What a funny joke I just made. Again, just like the health, there aren't that many weapon pickups considering the situation. And of the weapons that there are, some of them are completely useless. Literally. There are some pickups of that weapon that cycles through, and all the options are completely useless. They don't lock on, and they can't even hit the heli. The orange missiles are three quarters useless. Sometimes they lock on and hit. Most of the time, they just fly away and do nothing. They also make up most of the spawns. There are homing missiles that, well, 
home onto the target and are actually useful the majority of the time. Occasionally, they decide to go after the small helicopters that are carrying health or whatever, which is quite annoying. They also barely spawn. Plus, there's the option to drive off the roof, which is always fun. Okay. I think that about covers it. Basically, in the end, I decided to switch to easy because I didn't feel like playing this stupid boss for any longer than I had to. And easy mode actually made it much easier than I was expecting it to. Show the short. Very nice. Okay, he blew me up. Thank you. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. I'm dying. Just die. Just die. Thank you. Thank you so much. Then the weird creepy man that made this shit show reminded me of who I am. So I was FBI. I was deep undercover in an insane asylum. A lot. I got amnesia from what the explosion or something. I have a whole family and I went through all of this and murdered a whole bunch of more people. And now I'm on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. And then I got shot in the face. Well, in the face, I guess in the chest. So I did all that for no reason. I remembered everything about my life just to get murdered. Seems fair. The game is over now. You can also play with the other characters, and I'm assuming there's a different story to each of them, but the gameplay would be the same. And to be honest, I never plan on doing that ever. There isn't much of a story to this game, and that's not necessarily a bad thing in some cases. Sometimes there's a small explanation that launches an adventure or something like that, and that's fine. But in this case, it's just basically nothing, and the little story that there is doesn't do much for me and doesn't really make any sense. You wake up and some guy is just like, Hey, want to learn who you are? All you have to do is murder a whole bunch of people, not die yourself. It's just like, what even is that? I have so many questions. Who is this guy? Why does he run this crazy demolition derby? What is all this for? Is it for his own twisted satisfaction? Or are there people watching this happen or something else? And I didn't get an answer to any of those questions. Then after learning about who you are, you just get murdered anyway. Maybe that's supposed to be the appeal to this game. There is a big sense of mystery and you don't really learn anything. You just experience something. If that is the case, which I I really don't know if it is or not. I don't get it. There was no satisfaction in being in this game. At first, I was like, oh cool, now I know who I am. Maybe now we can learn more about Calypso in this crazy demolition derby. And then he just killed me and the game ended. Maybe I picked the worst character in terms of the story, but if the other characters are similar, I don't care for the story at all. It's just not for me. One out of 10. Moving on to gameplay. The game was quite challenging, which is not a bad thing. Sometimes you want a nice easy game, sometimes you want a balance, and sometimes you want a challenge. It just depends on the mood. The game is very repetitive. You go from one level to the next, doing the same thing with nothing in between to add to it. Spawn in, drive around, get ammo, shoot 8 bad guys until they die, don't get killed, repeat. The only thing that changed was the map. No new weapons, no new enemies, no new concepts, no new anything. I feel like it lacked so much and there are so many things they could have done with it. In my opinion, it really wasn't that fun. And not because of the difficulty, but because it was just boring. I give the gameplay a 3 out of 10. Maybe it's just not my type of game, or maybe I missed something because all I see are positive reviews. If somebody that enjoys this game can please tell me why, I would appreciate it. Because I'm not trying to just shit on this game because I feel feel like it. This is honestly how I feel based on my experience, and I genuinely would like to understand why people enjoy it. Anyways, that's my review. Let me know if you agree and if I was too harsh. As you may have guessed, I live streamed myself beating this game. If that's something you might enjoy watching, stick around. I plan on streaming most of the games I play, and I would love to have you there experiencing it with me. I would appreciate any support you're willing to give, whether it's leaving a like, comment, or subscribing, it all helps and I'm grateful. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye bye.